Dear men over 50, leave those young girls alone and find yourself an older woman, someone who can recognise the signs of a stroke. This is a question for the men out there. TM Rister writes, ask any man that's 50, would he rather be with a 30 year old or the 55 year old? 98% would say the 30 year old. That's a fact. I'm very curious. It doesn't bother me either way, but I'd love to know. So men out there that are over 50, would you purposely choose or only want a woman? If you could, if you could choose any, any mate, would it be a woman 30 if you're at least 50 years old? What say you? Okay, so here I am in reality. I have my hair up, no makeup on. This is my skincare, Perpetual Youth. If you use it, you do the skin peels, you'll see an amazing texture. Here's the deal. I uploaded a, a video to YouTube about, I don't know, whatever it was. And, oh, I said seven things that women are concerned about as they age. And you know who responded? Freaking men. They said, we don't care what you respond to seven things as you age over 50. What they responded to, as I said, we don't care. We don't want women your age. We, we don't even, I mean, they, they pissed me off. They pissed me off. And they said that we don't care about women your age. We don't go out with gals your age. And we don't give a F about you guys. And you know what? I said, move along without being rude. I said, move along because we don't care about you either. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> oh God, I don't want to cry anymore. I just don't want to be a strong, independent woman anymore. <laughs> Body hurts. Oh, that's him. And I just, oh God, I'm so ugly as well. Just because I'm moving out, I don't think my brain can associate moving house with anything happy. I've never moved house for a good reason. I don't know, I just need to stop crying. I cry like a bitch all the time. I feel so sick as well. Everything just hurts. I want a pet cow and a vegetable garden. I live to the highlands. I'm so tired. I mean, Crazy. I feel fine. I just cry myself to sleep every night. Yeah, that's totally... Reminder that the age difference between these two and Leonardo DiCaprio and his new girlfriend is only one year. Bella Ramsey is 19 and Pedro Pascal is 47. And Leonardo DiCaprio is 48 and his girlfriend is 19. You look beautiful. Thank you. Are you talking to me or <laughs> I can't find the remote. They need milk. I don't want to do the dishes. The coffee's cold. Has anybody seen my shoes? said that older men want to be with younger women because they're easier to manipulate. But I can give you, I have a list here, I'll give you some reasons why perhaps an older man might want to date a younger woman. And keep in mind, we're talking about adult women here. More physically attractive, more emotionally available, more romantic, more energy and optimistic about the future, more time to live life, travel the world before starting a family, more fertile, less baggage and trauma from past relationships, more open to new ideas, less stuck in their ways, stuck in the job city, more agreeable, easier to build a life with, more grateful and easily satisfied, less likelihood of having children or a psycho ex, younger parents who could be involved more in raising the children. Yeah, that's pretty much it. There's perhaps some more, but. Oh, and no kids? No Us kids. Usually, if they're younger. Yeah, typically no kids. Have you ever heard of Leonardo DiCaprio? Haha, <laughs> of course you have. But have you ever heard of his 25 year old rule? According to this graph, Leonardo DiCaprio refuses to date anyone once they hit age 25. But it's also interesting that 25 is when our brain reaches maturity. Leonardo DiCaprio refuses to date anyone once they hit age 25. Okay, so I am 32 years old and I cannot imagine finding a 25 year old like dateable. And maybe it's because I'm a woman and you know, men mature slower than women. 
but I cannot imagine restricting myself to only dating people under 25. Like, <laughs> And this is what today's video is about. Post while females who don't get it or do know but are in denial to why men don't want them. These feminists had their fun, and now the cock carousel ride is over. They have 50 years of being single ahead of them. And one feminist named Caitlin Moran decided to write an article about it because she's big mad. A double post wall who tries to look like she's still in college, projecting about men not acting their age, and despite how young she tries to dress, men aren't going to notice her. This whole article sounds like it's about her being jealous of younger women and bitter, and I'm here for it. The title is... Men, get therapy, not a younger girlfriend. A big age gap is not sexy, Leo. You won't understand her jokes. Spoiler alert, men don't date females because they're funny. Female comedians aren't even funny. Men date younger women because they're hot. But there are legitimate other reasons as well. Never date a woman who is older than 25 as a male. A lot of women will hate me for this, but that's the truth. Nature made the rules, not me. Here's why. One. You want a woman in her prime, not a woman past her prime. Two, women over 25 are more set in their ways and less willing to adapt. Three, a younger woman is more likely to admire and respect your achievements. Four, over 25, she is like carrying baggage from past relationships. Five, younger women are more open to new experiences and adventures. Six, less emotional scars mean healthier relationships. Seven, Older women are more likely to rush into marriage and kids. Eight, you need a woman who compliments your life, not complicates it. Nine, with younger women, you set the tone of the relationship. 10, young women are more enthusiastic and bring more joy to your life. 11, dating younger keeps you youthful and energetic. 12, she'll look up to you and make you feel like a king. 13, young women are less jaded and more optimistic about love. 14, they are more beautiful, more fun, and more vibrant. 15. Be the experienced man that every young woman desires. So, let's get balls deep into this article. I like it when celebrities offer up advice to their younger fans, like freelance wise aunties and uncles. This is especially useful for those who might not have been gifted wise uncles and aunties at birth. I have an aunt who once encouraged me to put the school hamster on a plastic plate so he could go sailing in our paddling pool. Go on, he'll love it, and the hamster subsequently drowned. So I see the value of having aunt and uncle options aside from merely the ones nature handed you. Her dumbass actually listened to a post wall and an animal had to suffer because of it. Yet, she, the single aunt, is now giving advice. Her first paragraph was an argument on why post walls like this feminist writer should shut her mouth. Talk about being clueless and tone deaf. Continuing, this is why I am currently enjoying comedian Catherine Ryan's social media advice sessions for her younger female fans about dating much older men, a 39-year-old mother of three. There's no such thing as women comedians. It's just women pretending to be funny telling 304 stories. Continuing, Ryan has previously taken to Twitter to wince over Leonardo DiCaprio's infamous inability to date any woman past her 25th birthday. And in recent weeks, she has also done a massively disapproving auntie face over the only way is Essex star James Argent, 35, dating an 18-year-old. It's not that DiCaprio can't date women over 25, as this clueless feminist writer phrases it. He doesn't want to. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the fuck? Why should he or any man with status date older women? Younger women are hotter and a lot more fun to be around. They're not jaded and have PTSD from getting pumped and dumped. Younger women are more likely to still have the zest for life, and that's that spirit for adventure. Not the thousand cock stare and the worn look that even Botox can't fix. Okay, so I heard a theory about why Leonardo DiCaprio only dates girls until 25 years old. It's because he's getting paid fat <laughs> stacks by the modeling agencies because every time they have a literal they have a map of all of these models that its careers have skyrocketed the moment they have one photo with Leonardo DiCaprio. No way. And they all lose their most value from a model. Gold starts to decline after 25. No way. So they're literally like, this guy could be getting paid by these agencies like millions of dollars a year to just like be seen in public with these girls. Obviously, fuck them. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then dump them when they're 25. And that's what he's been doing in just cycling. He, for all we know, like he maybe doesn't do anything with these people. But did you know that? Cash. You know he's like really into birds and stuff. 
birds? He's like super into like environmental stuff, and I guess yeah. he knows like a oh, ton yeah. of stuff about animals and birds, and it's like all he talks about. Really? As but like I heard interviewer saw somewhere like when he's like on set somewhere like if they're not filming he's just like talking their ears off about like birds yeah, he's a big environmental and, and i heard junkie. that he like <laughs> dude Pod i heard himself. when he like fucks girls he like puts like <laughs> headphones on like listens to like weird music and shit and like doesn't talk where the <laughs> and, like, doesn't fuck? make noise hold on hold on hold on hold on <laughs> where the fuck did you he, where what's your citation on this back to the article i have somehow become the poster woman for rallying against grown powerful famous men dating teenagers I didn't choose that life, that life chose me, she told the Daily Mail. You see how she characterizes it in bad faith and slander? Teenagers include 18 or 19 year olds, but it insinuates younger than 18 that these men are pedos. Yet, she's not calling out the real degenerates in Hollywood, like the producers who get caught with underage girls. Is it because it would hurt her career? Bruce Evans has been slammed as a predator for having a 26 year old wife. He recently married Alba Baptista, who's only 26 years old, and people have said that this is a little weird because they have such a big age gap. However, they're both consenting adults, so I see no problem with this, as they're both of legal age, and they're both well and truly into adulthood. But what are your thoughts on this? Let me know down below in the comments. Also, she's mad that DiCaprio and men of his status won't even look at her twice. And I bet it's because she wants to date men like him to boost her profile because, obviously, her so-called comedy isn't making her famous. I've never heard of her till now. Okay, tell me a famous male that you would feel safe being alone in a room with. Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, unfortunately, I turned 25 last year, so he just wouldn't even look in my direction anymore. And this isn't new. Most post walls become crusaders against men not wanting to date them. The post walls themselves in their 20s had no problem dating these older men. But now, they have something to say when those same men don't want them anymore. I find it curious that women get so upset about the biological fact that most men prefer women in their younger years, mainly due to fertility, low body count, and just general attraction. When I knew countless women at the age of 19, 20 who dated 30, 35 plus men while they were young and then all of a sudden they get to be 30, 35 and now all of a sudden they disagree with it saying it's creepy. I find that it's more just an insecurity factor and the fact that they are no longer that young and now they see those women as competition. Which is sad because in reality most of my videos are really to teach younger women to choose better in their 20s. If you are in your 30s and still single, that is no reason to hate on the younger generation or hate on the men that prefer them and by calling them creepy or even words that I'm not even going to use here. Innately, I have always known this. My husband is seven plus years older than me and I did that for a reason. And he did that for a reason. At the age of 37 when we met, he knew he wanted a family. He's not going to go find another 37-year-old hoping by the grace of God or with fertility treatments that they could have a baby. I'm not hating on women. We just need to understand both sides. Men have every right to choose their preferences just as women do. For example, nobody wants to date a short, broke man. Back to the article. I don't think it's controversial to say that's gross or weird. I look out at my audience, and I have a lot of teenage girls, so I'm happy if even one of them hears what I'm saying and goes, ew, maybe that man is interested in me because he wants to boss me around, or because women his age don't talk to him. Maybe I will give that a miss. More gaslighting. These men can easily date women their own age, but they don't want to because they want hotter, younger women. So in reality, it's these men who won't talk to these post walls. Also, this whole bossing around thing is the fact that she doesn't like that these men set standards, and because they have options, if these standards or rules of a relationship is not followed, they're on to the next 18-year-old. Literally, it's always women have to look a certain way in order to be chosen. We've been conditioned to compete yep. against each other to be chosen. Yeah. We have to have a certain body, we have to have a certain glow, we have to have mm -hmm. a certain look. And I'll just speak in my category because I'm over 50. Once I get to this age, I start to lose that beauty, that youth, right? So the older men will start looking at the younger women, mm -hmm. right? Mm. However, they're no different than me because they're losing the look. The body <laughs> starts to go and it's like, Negro. <laughs> <laughs> I want somebody next to me too. That I, that's a trophy too. Right. Right. Yes. So yes. here we go with the double standard. Yeah. We're sure. sitting here talking about women. Can we, can we flip it? The pressure yeah. is so hard. 
Ryan's deep ick response is a useful check and balance because it's still largely seen as sexy, natural, and aspirational for men, particularly the powerful and famous, to date women from a different decade. Jake Gyllenhaal got together with Taylor Swift when he was 30 and she was 21. 53-year-old Sean Combs, P. Diddy, is rumored to be dating a 29-year-old. Captain America star Chris Evans, 41, has a 25-year-old girlfriend. Johnny Depp, Eddie Murphy, Jim Carrey, Elon Musk, Sean Penn, Brad Pitt, and Zach Braff have all dated women around 20 to 30 years younger. Al Pacino's latest girlfriend is more than 50 years his junior, and Hugh Hefner racked up a 60-year age difference. Okay, and? These females are all over 18. They're adults. Had they joined OnlyFans at 18, feminists like this author would be cheering them on. Yet they decided to have a relationship with successful, famous, older, established men, and somehow, that's worse to these feminists. Continuing with the article. And while Catherine Ryan is doing sterling work in pointing out to younger women the possible disadvantages to them, that is, angry, S-E-X-Y, daddy is now bossing you around. I'd like to address the other half of the audience. I'd like to point out to all the men how this trope disadvantages them too. Because oh my god, a generation gap relationship is like a banter graveyard. What are you going to talk about? 90% of your cultural reference points are going to go flying over the head of your child bride. She doesn't know who the crankies are or what you mean when you say, watch out, watch out, there's a Humphrey about. Or that when you say, one step beyond, and start playing imaginary saxophone, you're not having a stroke, you're simply quoting madness. Men don't need to talk to women. These feminists are confusing what is attractive to them with what's attractive to men. They think just because they're attracted to an intelligent man with degrees, that means men want the same, and it doesn't work like that. There's a reason why educated and or older women are usually single and have the highest divorce rate. Because they're annoying and insufferable. Men don't want to be challenged intellectually when they're not working. They want to enjoy life. And bimbos whose IQ is room temperature enjoy life because they don't overthink everything. Matter of fact, they probably can't. I think younger women tend to be more impressionable. I think older women... You know, in my experience, you 30, 33, 35, the experiences that you have at that point is just, you know, a little bit too much for me. And, I, and you know, I, I really think in some cases you really can't teach an old dog new tricks. So I prefer, you know, my women to be uh, of the younger variety. If a woman wants to respect you and give you the, the respect to lead and be her partner, why do you need to be, why do you need to have that level of power over her if you're not trying to manipulate someone? See, it's not power, it's, it's impressionable. I've never seen a successful partnership where the other person wouldn't allow themselves to be impressed upon. If, if I'm a person and I got a vision, I got a plan, I got a whole program, I would think that the person that wants to be with me is willing to learn and willing to adopt some of the ways or even some of the principles that I have. That's not impressionable. Impressionable is basically getting someone to do what you want them to do because they're easily swayed and easily persuaded to do what you want them to do. Who said that? Did you make that up? Well, I like when, when you when you actually. when you hire somebody, you look for somebody that's impressionable. But why would I it, listen? Right, even, so you can even train them. So you can when you hire somebody, you're about to train them. Now, and that's why you want them impressionable. It, it, Continuing. And similarly, you're not going to get most of her jokes either. And when she starts talking about Young Gravy or Book Talk, your eyes are going to turn into the rainbow pinwheels Apple Macs produce when they're struggling to buffer information. You have a reference point mismatch. Your punchlines are from the wrong decade. Again, she's confusing what she wants from a man with what a man wants from a woman. Women do want witty men and witty banter, because that takes intelligence and charisma, which is a characteristic that helps men in society like lead other men into war, or negotiate deals, or to create alliances, or in modern terms, networking. This trait has helped men pass on their genes for thousands of years. Also, the funniest thing about female comedians is when they claim they're funny. Continuing. Yeah, but I feel I get on better with younger people, you might say. I'm really a very young 48, and she's a very wise 18, so we're actually emotionally the same age. I'm amazed men so regularly offer this as an adorable explanation for their dating habits. Men, this is terrible PR for your SEX. Again, these men don't want post walls like you. Get that through your head. Who else is in uh, midlife or menopause or perimenopause and finds himself crying a lot? <sighs> Nobody ever told me about this. But um, there'd be a lot of freaking crying. Um, and sometimes just out of the blue. Um, sometimes the reasons are big, sometimes they're small. Um, but if you find the tears um, coming more often than not, 
You're normal. You're normal. Continuing, how is it a boast to essentially say, I have signally failed to learn or grow, so now I must away to speed date outside Claire's accessories? It's not a flex to say you're too emotionally crippled to date a woman of your own generation. Also, if you're that emotionally crippled, the least qualified people to deal with your issues are 18-year-old models. Get some therapy. And while looking for that therapy, you'll note there are no 18-year-old therapists, because no one is actually that wise at 18. That's why your accountant is 52 and your prostate consultant is 61. Sleeping with a hot 20-year-old is amazing because she's hot, which is therapy. Clearly, this post wall is projecting. She's the one with emotional damage from her sleeping around, not men. Men don't need therapy. They need to get away from hags like you, because their lives have been ruined by modern women. Anyway, continuing with the article. There is one final thing that serial daters of young women say. She gives me energy. She's brought me back to life. Yes, mythology has a word for those who gain energy and life from young women. Vampires. Younger women are more energetic because they're not worn out by working a career a decade or longer. These career women age in dog years. Or simply, would you rather drink fresh milk or old sour milk? Or would you rather eat rotting fruit from the ground or fresh fruit off the vine? Back to the article. So I wonder, once again, how is it that rich, powerful men dating younger women is still seen as S-E-X-Y, natural, aspirational alpha behavior, when it's really the need of the childlike manpire and terrible PR for mankind? This whole article was a terrible PR for all the post walls. Not once did it prove or show that older women have any value that most men would want. It, all it did was complain, project, and shamed men for what they want. It just proved why men want peace and quiet which means not being around menopause rage. Why do so many men our age, late 30s, all of 40s, not want relationships and just want casual sex with much younger women instead of actually dating? Well, ma'am, I'm going to shoot it direct and I'm going to give you a real answer. But let's keep it between us on this page. Most men, late 30s, 40s, are just now, for the first time, experiencing their, what their value is in the world. And it's getting shown out here because people want what they have. It's sexy. It is of value to the opposite. It is their knowledge, their experience, their resources, their network. It took them decades to get to this point. So when they get to this point, let me remind you, when they were 21, 22, 23, 24, girls their age were seeing guys that were 29, 30. When they were 27, 28, girls their age were seeing guys that were in their mid-30s because that's what they valued at the time. So they weren't taking those guys seriously. Now, you might say, well, yeah, they were still having, they were out here hanging around. And, and even if they were able to get one just to sleep with or a couple to sleep with, even if they had good game, they weren't taken seriously because they didn't have those things that the girls their age valued. So now they're at a point when they're late 30s and 40s where they're just for the first time experiencing that desire from women that are younger. And they're just now for the first time because when you were 24, 25, you had this desire. You were desired by many. He didn't have that at 24, 25. So right now he's experiencing it for the first time and he's saying to himself, why would I want to settle now when I'm just for the first time tasting what it feels like to be desired and wanted as a man? That's why. That is why guys in their late 30s and their 40s will not want to commit because they have their options open for the first time in their adult life because they've utilized their adulthood, they've acquired the resources, the knowledge, and experience to be able to be attractive to the opposite. So now for the first time, they're saying, well, I don't know if I'm ready to settle down with that because now for the first time, I have options. Because when I was 24, 26, 27, nobody wanted to take me seriously. Even if they wanted to have fun with me for a second, but nobody took me seriously enough because they always went for the guys that were above me. So now, that's how they act. I'm not saying what's right or what isn't right. It is what it is. So if you're wondering why, that's the main reason why. Now what to do about it. Now if you guys are around that age group and guys your age are not taking you seriously, you're gonna have to. Now you don't have to, but if you actually wanna do something about it, you're gonna have to step your game up. And if you don't wanna step your game up, fine. You don't need to. But those guys will have more of their options open than they've had before in the past, and they will do what they feel is necessary. And I hope you guys do what you want with this, with this information, but I shoot it straight. Much love. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you'll get five bucks.
Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video. Till next time.